Hey Pisces, it's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for you, Pisces. Ooh, Aquarius. Ooh, ooh, Virgo. Capricorn. Ooh, Sagittarius. So I feel like you are about to make a clear decision on financial stability, and it could require some sort of quick action or move. Mm, somebody lit a, a fire, lit a flame up under you is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys might have been procrastinating, and it could have been about, you know, a business or financial goal and you might have gotten hurt or disappointed in the process which kind of maybe caused you to kind of stall out but I feel like that's about to be reignited and I feel intuitively and perhaps other tarot readers have been pretty much telling you to jump start whatever this uh, goal is Yeah, I kind of feel like somebody might have triggered you and you might have stopped speaking to somebody and you're waiting for some sort of an apology. This is somebody who you love and their value. Um, yeah, and they hurt your feelings. Angels said they cut you deep and you're waiting for them to come with reasons and or explanations as to why they did what they did. And based on that, you're going to make a decision on whether or not you want to move forward with somebody. But I also feel like, again, that um, high priestess is um, there are still things that are unknown. This could have been gossiping at work or some sort of work environment. Maybe your boss said something to you that rubbed you the wrong way um, and it hurt your feelings. And then you decided to apply for another position, got the position. Now your boss wants to work it out with you. So for a lot of you now, you're stuck trying to figure out which way do I go? Which position do I go with? Ooh, the sun card. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. That's new money coming in. I feel like in all honesty, Pisces, you should take the new... New job or new option. Nope, but you're deadlocked. Two of Pentacles going back and forth. You're indecisive. Angels are saying, listen to your intuition. You got the High Priestess here twice. But with the Knight of Cups, I kind of feel like um, you're going to have to make a decision really, really quick. You're going to have to make a decision quick. Um, because I feel like you could be up against a deadline. And I feel like a lot of you guys don't know what to choose. You don't know which one to go after. And what's ironic is that Queen of Pentacles here feels like the higher paying position. It perhaps is the one you should go after. I feel like there's one position that wants to give you some sort of pay increase and they want you to start immediately. But I feel like you should hold out for more money. In all honesty. And at the end of the day with the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups, this company has more money to give. So as an example, if they wanted to hire you at $17 an hour and you're like, no, I'm worth $25 an hour. What this is basically saying is fight for the $27 an hour because they have it. Not only that, but they have it. You'll get it. You'll be happy. I feel like with the Ace of Swords and Five of Swords specifically here um, is something that you've been thinking about. You haven't really vocalized or communicated, but I feel like you should. And I think when you do it, you're going to get exactly what it is you're requesting. Closed mouths don't get fed is what I just heard. And the other Bible verse, you ask not or you have not because you've asked not. Right? I feel like some of you guys are afraid to kind of ask for what you're worth but the universe is like ah, uh -uh, go ahead and ask for it because you can get it three of pentacles um you may need to ask for help and or assistance 
or receive some sort of coaching from someone on how to make this request. I feel like for some of you, you're new at this. You don't know how to ask for a raise or ask for what you're worth. But I feel that Ace of Swords, that Ace of Swords, the Ace of Truth, yeah, it's going to cut through all the confusion, right? But not only that, but with the Sun card, with the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, I kind of feel like you're, you're going to be happy with the outcome. And the outcome is going to be some sort of financial increase. And angels are saying, especially if they want you to start quick, yeah, let them go ahead and pay for that. Let, I'll ask them to give you a sign-on bonus even. Look at that. Success. Forgiveness. Meditation brings answers. Where's that four of swords? Right here. No need to worry. Yeah, go ahead and ask for the money, Pisces. No, I don't want to stir up the war. I mean, what they're giving me is okay now. That's what I'm hearing, as in it kind of feels like you're settling. Aquarius, smart, intelligent, you know, general, great general. Sagittarius, that motivation. Um, the sun card is Leo, strength, power, and pride. Um, Virgo here with Mercury, Capricorn. Um, Pisces and Cancer, Pisces, Cancer. And Sagittarius. I feel like subconsciously you know you can get this. Pisces. I really do. I feel like you know you're worth it. You know they have it to give. And all you need to do is ask and you will receive it. Meditate and contemplate. It's time to release negativity. Your dreams need a practical plan. A personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah, all you have to do is muster up the strength and energy, Pisces, to make this request. And I feel like you're actually going to get the raise or increase or position that you are um, that you are desiring. So, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. Open it up and ask for what you want or need, Pisces. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Pisces. Bye.